Well, I think for anybody who's ever been out in the back country, for any purpose whatsoever, um, I think pe they do respond very, very directly to the work. I mean, um, I often get people coming up to me and, say, and telling me that they have sat on that exact rock and had their lunch, or they've sat under that exact tree, that exact tree and had their lunch, and they are convinced that they're, they're not just pretending, they really do mean it. Now, personally, I, I suspect they're probably not right. I suspect that they didn't actually sit on that rock. But to them, the painting has sufficient reality for them to really believe they did. And they sat on a similar rock somewhere nearby, no doubt. But it wasn't that rock. But they believe it was because uh, it speaks to them very directly. So for people who, who like being in the back country, then they respond very directly. For people who are more um, perhaps armchair travellers or people who, are, who, who, are, um, who don't go into the back country, I think nonetheless they like the feeling that I'm uh, relating to them how they think it probably should be that there is a sense of, of the extraordinary beauty of these places and the diversity and the interest and the fascination with all these different things. Um, and after all, we've all travelled somewhere. And even if, you know, even if you've travelled to the next state on the, uh, you know, uh, and gone to a different town, or even if you've been to Paris for a week or whatever it is, whatever kind of adventure you have with your travel, you know, you notice new things. You go to Paris, you notice the bus tickets. You don't notice the bus tickets here in Denver. Who, who would ever look at a bus ticket? But you go to Paris and you look at the bus ticket because you want to know what that French word says. And, and it's about when you're travelling, your senses are much more alert. And I think that that's part of it. So people pick up on that too, I think, even if they don't go and live in the back country for a while. It does have that sense for people, I think, of, of, um, uh, of sort of filling out for them or explaining or describing something to them which they half suspected was there. Uh, and this sort of confirms it. Maybe that's it. I, I'm not trying to conceal anything. I'm just saying this is, what I, this is what I saw, this is what I did, this is what happened to me, this is who I met, this is what the weather was like. Uh, you know, th these are all the different things that happened during that day. This was my experience. And what I hope is that it's, well, it's obviously very personal to me, but I, it's also universal in that other people understand that if they did that journey, Similar things would happen to them. But there aren't many mysteries there, really. And, and probably there should be more, I think. <laughs> I perhaps ought to put a few mysteries in.